Oh yeah, well, we've got to help the uh, the forefoots, forefooted animals. We're all animals, but uh, yeah, the uh, two-footed animals are are the problem, as we all know. Yeah, if, you, if you, anybody paying attention would know that uh, this, the uh, two-footed animals that, uh, are the are the real problem. We've got to get the law changed. Why is it so important for you to support Richard and get this law changed? Because Richard was in a situation that I think many of us, if we were faced with the same situation, we would have done the same thing. And that is save an animal who is voiceless, who is helpless, who needs people like Richard to stick up for them and help stop animal suffering and abuse. So, and I support that. <laughs> and do you think that the three of you combined can make real change happen throughout Ab the Absolutely I do. It always takes a team. It's never one individual. It takes a lot of people, a lot of voices, getting involved, speaking up, standing out, and just doing the right thing for the voiceless animals that cannot help themselves. Perfect. Now, explain to me, let me get this tight shot of that. Show it up perfectly. This, this is not just that. Tell us what that, what is that mean? What, why, what, yeah, tell us about that. House Bill 60. This was, uh, or is, my father's law, Dick Goddard's law, um, which allows prosecutors to prosecute animal abusers at a fifth degree felony level. Governor uh, Kasich signed it into effect two years ago in 2016. So it helps us prevent animal abuse. Great.